I'm not advocating that you don't ever do those things if you enjoy them. Some people really enjoy that, they, or the challenge of, and I go back to just because it's something, you know, flipping the tires or that. I, some people have fun doing that. Nothing wrong with that. But you, for, if you trying, but if you're trying to lose your waistline and you're out doing that only, it's not the best idea. It's better to get in that great shape first and then get better at doing that stuff. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's interesting you say that because, uh, um, you know, I, I, I really was uh, getting upset that I'm not achieving uh, any results. Yeah. And I know that my ankles and the plantar fasciitis and uh, uh, basically what's happening with my feet is all because of this weight that I'm carrying around because for right. every pound you have your joints are experiencing I don't know how many pounds per yeah, yeah it's actually it's pretty bad mm -hmm. so uh, that's exciting to know that I so I just have to get you gotta you gotta change be, everything exactly people I have start. to be people have to clearly define their goal mm -hmm. and then pick the appropriate training method to best achieve that goal and to me, that's the biggest, that's where a lot of people have a flaw in what they're doing. Mm -hmm. I see it here often, even, you know, right in here. In the gym, yeah. Yeah, just, you know, uh, not having a clear enough definition of what they're trying to achieve and then not lining that up correctly right. with their workout, so that's with their workout plan. That's the uh -huh. two things. You've got to have that clear, defined what you're trying to do and then line it up with the best workout plan to get you there. Because again, what muddies the waters is there's the, thousands of ways you can work out and get varying degrees of results and again you hear me say that throughout this too but how do you get a maximal result how do you get the best for what you're trying to do and so like when you're telling me these things you know to me it's very predictable that you would look a certain way or you know because I, I can see it and say well yeah I'm not surprised that that's the result you got because again it goes back to some basic principles and people have an incentive and it's because of again the society we live in but things get so overcomplicated and they overcomplicate the process so much. The process is very simple. Doing it excellently every day is not simple, but the process is simple. So just all this overcomplicated with nutrition and oh, you know, only, only eat certain, you know, it just, I see so many goofy ass things, pardon my <laughs> French, that just, they don't make any sense when they line up with physiology. Yeah. But yet, you know, people have a need to make things more complicated in some sense. Like, well, if it doesn't seem tricky enough, then it can't work. <laughs> uh -huh. You know, but that's been something we fought for for years and years, trying to teach these principles. Well, that just doesn't seem like enough. You know. Well, okay, I, I, I that's uh, that's excellent. That makes me feel actually pretty good because I remember when I, I um, when I got below my six percent body fat, or I was at six point two or whatever yeah. uh, a couple of weeks before the competition Adam Coughlin said you look like a triathlete like an Olympic triathlete and I did I looked I mean I was I wasn't uh, rail thin like in a mix right, <laughs> right, right, right. before the contest but boy I looked sharp yeah and then that's composition yeah. that's the that's the sharp I'm edge I'm looking for yeah and uh, so if you if you want to define goal that's <clears throat> that that is it, and then uh, and here's the the trilogy announcement. This is the big announcement. <laughs> We're gonna make another documentary after the six months. That's going to be maintaining as much of the uh, body composition that I get to at the end of six months, so that I don't get like this yeah. again. Yeah. Right. Ever. Right. Yeah, to show that you know that you're gonna have to go, th you're gonna have to go through pain and discomfort to get rid of it. Yeah. But once you're there, to show that with just some basic principles, how you can loosen it up a little bit, but still maintain a great level of fitness and a great look, and but yet still live a more, I'll say, normal life. But for mm -hmm. now, we got to go to more of an extreme level to to get there. That's interesting. So, so now you might you, actually, Jeff, you might be opening up a whole new door of training for people. It's to say, oh, I want to be a triathlete and I want to be a marathon or I want to do this. And, and I'm doing it. Why? Because I, well, I need to get in shape. Okay. But you need to get in shape. Why? I want to look better. Okay. You want to look better. Why? And it's like, okay, we, you need body composition right. change the, first boil, yeah. before you can do right that kind of yeah, training. You want to boil it all down to the basic goal first. And from 90% of the people or more, that's the goal. Well, here's the, here's the other interesting thing is that, okay, let's say that you get your, yourself down to this uh, body composition. You are now ready to train 
more efficiently and yeah, like an athlete. Or whatever you want to do. Well, yeah, because your your body isn't dealing with all this extra fat. Right. That it has to pump all this extra. Right. So you are going to get in shape quicker. And you're stronger and all those and XX. You Doesn't know, that make things. sense? Yeah. Pretty simple. I mean, it does, doesn't it? It's pretty clear, yeah. right? So did you ever think of that? that, that you every could, day. <laughs> that you every day. You say, you want to be a marathoner? Come to I me mean, first. Every day, but it, it drives me insane that because I, I've been for, for 20 plus years or that I've been talking about this, you know, I see it every day and it's still, it's still frustrating because to me, it's very simple. That's first, boil it down to that first. And that's why I still say everyone should train more similar than different. Who has right. this goal? Right. Whether, and it, whether it's man, woman, young, old, the same basic principles should, uh, everyone should do right. to, because it's body composition first. Okay. So, uh, people will say, well, Jeff, you're a bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. um, well, that was your goal, right? Mm -hmm. And they're going to say, well, so, so uh, why aren't you uh, making Stu do a bodybuilding competition again? And why aren't yeah, we uh, same going thing. in that direction? Exactly. And it's the same thing. All bodybuilding is, is a body composition contest. That's all it is. And that's all any of those physique sports, they're all body composition contests. It's just the bodybuilding category is just the most extreme. The most amount of muscle, the least amount of body fat. It's a body composition contest. So is figures, so is physique, so just varying degrees based off the judging criteria. So you are bodybuilding, you're doing a, you're changing your body composition, that's what bodybuilding is. You're just not going to the extremes level, but it's the same approach. And most people aren't capable of, I mean, I accumulated a, uh, I was very good at it. I had a great career, um, but I, and I started when I was 16. I accumulated a ton of muscle. I mean, 5'7", 198 yeah. pounds, single-digit body fat, national champion. But that was from years and years of extremes to get to that point. Most people wouldn't do that, don't want to do that, but it's the same principles. See what I mean? The same principles that enable me to do that will enable you to do it because it's body composition. Okay, so body composition. So I'm going to have to find another bod pod, probably. Um, It'd be pretty neat to see. Okay, and uh, I'm predicting. Uh, I would be very happy if we got below ten. I'd be happy at ten, and if we could maintain what? What do you think we should maintain? You know, I, I I'm not big on trying to guess numbers because for me it's still more visual than anything. It'll be nice to know what that number is, but to me it's like to me for the individual it's like the goal is looking in the mirror and being happy or satisfied or mm -hmm. whatever term you want and then maintain that and whatever that number is it is you know um and i think that you'll i think that at a reasonable level and again i don't i'm not great on knowing well at, at, at x percent you will look like this i mean hell i don't know but <laughs> it's just looking good right and if right. you feel like you look good at whatever percent that is yeah then let's maintain that <laughs> I, I, i'd like to see a six pack one more time there you go then that's it whatever number whatever percent that is it is but to me that's more important that is the visual thing because no one really cares like and they're not following around with calipers but if you take your shirt off and you look great then then that's that's the there you whatever go. that number is right <laughs> <laughs> right yeah whatever that number yeah. is okay all right um now you were uh there uh, something personal happened happened to you uh, uh, recently, um, medically. Yeah. That I think we need to talk about. Yeah, because um, they might be seeing some stuff. Yeah. Well, I recently had it was a kind of a, a little bit of a close call. Um, I had a spot I was watching on my leg, a mole that was looking suspicious. Mm -hmm. Been watching it. Uh, went in and had it looked, and it was uh, whatever the classification was, but it was in the severe state, which was right before melanoma. Uh, so I had it removed and everything should be fine and it wasn't quite there yet but if it would have went unchecked it right. could have been bad and I have some other spots I have to go back and look at the reason I bring this up was well this is a result of the years of bodybuilding and having to be tan and laying out in the sun for hours uh, as well as going to tanning booths to get a base tan to help your skin tone and then you know before going into competition um, so the reason I bring this up two reasons. One, if guys or girls were like me years ago and were doing it or are still doing it for competitions, pay attention. First of all, I would say don't do it. Get your color from a bottle now with the, with the stuff. But secondly, pay attention uh, and get stuff checked out just in case because the sooner you get it, if there is any issues, you know, the better. But it's another illustration of, and this is probably a whole nother topic, but no, how... nothing's nothing. Uh, just but how, let the, it go. I, how the <laughs> ideal 
the ideal physique, the ideal skin color, everything that has been fashioned to us is really not healthy. The picture of health is the tanned, ripped guy or girl. And people used to make fun of me because I'm a more fair-skinned guy, and, and they still do make fun of me now, like, oh, you need to get some sun. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. But when I was younger, that bothered me. It did. And when I was you know, trying to compete, and you know, you got to be tan and everything like that. So, you know, I, I would lay out in the sun. And if I worked at it, I could get a tan. And when I lived in Colorado those last few years, I would lay out. I would go to the tanning booth and also lay out on the weekends uh, because it helped the skin tone. But now I'm dealing with that and have to go get some more spots checked and things like that. But again, there's a, there's a, false, there's, there's a falseness between really the, the picture that's created in magazines by what's an ideal and healthy versus what really is. So pay attention, <laughs> stay out of the sun without sunscreen and uh, get yourself checked out if you, have, if, you, if you did it for years and have anything uh -huh. that you gotta watch. Yeah, okay, that's good advice. Um, now, uh, talking about bodybuilding, um, which is something that you've done forever and ever and ever. Yeah, long, long um, uh, I've, uh, people probably want to know what you think of the, the direction that bodybuilding is going. Uh, where, because uh, I, I was on I was online and I, I was shocked that uh, El Nasser or that Nasser guy uh, he he died. A lot of those oh. names, uh, different names of people who you probably recognize have passed away in the yeah, last I mean, five, a, six years. A yeah. lot of bodybuilders. I, I couldn't yeah. believe how many bodybuilders had died. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, I don't know. Uh, what do you, what, just tell me what, what you think. This is a sport that uh, got you to I, where you yeah. are and gave you all the great things that you have. Um, yeah. But <laughs> what... You know, yeah, I mean, as far as I don't, I, I even struggle calling it a sport anymore, to be honest with you. Um, just because of, uh, it's become more and more and more over the years, drug infused and at the high level. Like, I don't even pay attention to the pro shows, or I couldn't tell you who's really the top guys or anything like that. I just not really that interested in it. And I always say it's not a judgment. Like, I don't, if, if people choose to go that way and take the drugs and do whatever, then I'm not like, you know, shame on you. I mean, do what you want. But to me, I'm just not, it doesn't excite me. It doesn't motivate me. Mm -hmm. And like, there's guys that are the top guys right now in the sport and the Olympia and stuff that I've competed against and, you know, even beat some of them head to head. And I don't begrudge them for what they're doing. And, you know, that's, the, but, but I also can't, I don't feel right celebrating it either. Like, man, you know, good for you. I mean, because of the the route they yeah. chose, I just don't believe in that. But it, again, it's fine if that's what you want to do. But to back up, you know, my interest in the sport is really it, or endeavor, whatever you want to call it, really isn't there other than helping people. So in other words, if somebody really wants to achieve something great, I know it like the back of my hand, so I can help you get there. I enjoy that part of it. Mm -hmm. But as far as like going to contests, unless I help someone be in it or, or paying attention, it just doesn't do it for me because I know the drug infusion that is there and that doesn't, yeah. I can't celebrate that. Well, you know? yeah, uh, when, when you go to these contests, because Josh, who uh, yeah. we are revealing a little bit at a time right. as well, uh, he, he got uh, pretty ripped as well. Yeah, yeah, 4%. 4% body fat. Uh, he's one of your trainers here, right? Correct. And uh, um, so I was at the bodybuilding contest, eh? Uh, Thank you. Um, and he said, uh, not he, uh, that's Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I see Dave in the gym, I was like, hey, Dave, how's it going? <laughs> uh, Dave, you want to say hi to ev uh, everybody in uh, TV land? Yeah, we're on TV. Yeah, <laughs> we're on TV. This is, uh, this is the guy in the gym that everybody who's anybody knows. <laughs> for, for a lot uh, of years. You see in the monitor there. Just come in a little, there, there we go. This is... Oh, you're right in the middle. I'll get right here. Yeah. There we go. This, this guy has, uh, has been working out here for, for a since long time. Since we've been open. <laughs> yeah. And oh, I'm, yeah. ever since I've been working out. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. I'm like the original gym rat. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you go in, I've got the little hood in the corner. So, right. Yeah. 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 But it's a pleasure, man. You haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I know. Getting back at it, you guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're, we're doing it again. Yeah, you're making another resurrection. Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a good I, way of putting I, it. I love that. I yeah. love that. But hey, pleasure having me right. here, man. Yeah. Always good to see you. We'll get after it. Yeah. <laughs> Always getting after it, fellas. Best place in America to work out. <laughs> All right. All right. Take care. All right. See you, Dave. <laughs> He's a special a guest. guest. Yeah. Um, 
So uh, where were we? You're talking about bodybuilding and Josh. And oh yeah, said, okay. So when you see the guys that are in these uh, bodybuilding contests that are uh, helping out, volunteering, yeah, and they're the other pro bodybuilders, are the, they're always wearing the baggiest everything, uh, and 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 it's they look like. And this is not a judgment call, but this is just something that I find as a outsider of bodybuilding. I'm not a bodybuilder. I uh, last competition I did was seven years ago, right? But I'm interested because it's an intriguing. Uh, it, it's it's worthy of documentation. Uh, but the thing that I find interesting is that you see photographs of these guys year round. Even your photographs are preserved forever. But then when you see these guys in the off season, they are completely unrecognizable yeah, yeah, yeah. from yeah. what they what they look like. They uh, they're they're soft and mush, many, marshmallowy, many marshmallowy, them, and yeah. and uh, and I I that, I just find that uh, very strange. <laughs> the whole thing is know? the whole thing is strange, you know. And it's odd for me for someone who devoted my life to it, you know, and. You know, and I, often, I get the question a lot of times about my son, you know, will you encourage your son to bodybuild, you know, and compete? And, and, and the truth is absolutely not. I would yeah. not encourage that at all. I'll encourage him to work out and be fit. And if it's something he ultimately wants to do, I'll help him and, and support him no matter what he wants to do. But I, I would not encourage, it's too extreme. I don't think it makes sense. I don't think it's yeah. healthy. And it's maybe odd coming from me, but it's the reality of it. And my, and my vantage point of it now, having been uh, not competed since 2003, however many years that is now, right. but my, where I'm looking at it now, I mean, I can see all the warts <laughs> on it, uh -huh. uh, you know, and, and, but anyway, again, that could be, I could, that could be a whole but other you're, But you're talking discussion. about people who uh, are competing for years and years and years and years and years. So, but for people who want to do two or three but even contests, so, a, a, even so, it's so yeah. extreme, you know. Yeah. But if you if you want to do it, fine. I mean, obviously, and, and and I can help you, and the methods will help. But it, to me, it's just it's it's such an extreme. It goes beyond. It goes healthy. beyond. It goes beyond. And yeah, it's yeah. not gonna. You know, if you do a few of them, it's not gonna have any long term health things for the individual. I don't mean that, but I just mean you know, it's 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 such an extreme. Um, well, I mean, the documentary, the first one, shows just how extreme it is to live like that. And, yeah. and there are people who live like that every single day. And for years. For years. Yeah. And, and uh, I, what a stress it, and it is puts the on you. you. Know, and then you got to find out, is, is the return really there for it? Yeah. And I don't know. And again, that's a whole other thing. That's a whole, whole other thing. Other thing. So but we just thought I'd tap, tap our foot yeah. into that water for, but for a We'll second. probably talk about it more. But to, the, the, the real question was, you know, <laughs> I don't pay much attention to it. Um, yeah. My emphasis is on helping people get in great shape and achieving more than maybe they thought possible. Um, mm -hmm. That's why I don't necessarily call myself like a trainer as much as I do like a transformation specialist. You transformation, know, let me help okay. you transform. Uh, because these basic principles, that's what they do and now and there is value in that right there is absolute value in that because people are working out and they're doing methods they're wait they, i don't say they're waiting they're not wasting their time but they're not getting the result they want they're getting frustrated they're working hard their body's not changing to the way they want to the point where they either give up or they do consider drugs or they stop working out or whatever and that's i think why i'm here oh. yeah and that's why everybody's out there yeah <laughs> Wanted to figure out, you know, yeah. what's the secret, dude? What's the secret? Right. Now, um, before we wrap up, uh, what, uh, you don't have to name the football team, but a professional football team, a very significantly yeah. huge football team has uh, kind of made you what? Well, I, I became really good friends with one of the head strength and conditioning coaches in the NFL, and he's been in there for years and years. And the, the way we became friends was... They've purchased or got some of uh, my materials initially. Found it actually through the documentary about yeah. the training materials, but um, became one of my best friends and um, really uh, in interested and supports and believes in the, these workout principles. No question about it. And and so it's just interesting that someone at that high level in the NFL and I can't remember how many years he's probably 15 years now, but you know, likes those same principles. Now that's, it becomes different. They don't use them, ex but they use the sa those basic approach for the muscle building and weight training part. Then there's other things they have to do for the athletic part of it for sure. But it's just been a neat relationship that developed because of it. And it's nice to be able to be um, respected by somebody that um, uh, 
accomplished at the highest level of sport. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Yeah, because there's pictures of, of you in the football stadium I've, really on the yeah, sideline. Yeah, <laughs> I've had a neat opportunity to visit him in two different facilities. He's been with two different teams now, um, but both, been, both facilities met a lot of the players, and it's been a neat, neat experience. But again, it's great to walk in. And I walk in there, they have my training journals, and a lot of their staff likes to use that stuff. And still, you know, we communicate all the time. And it's uh, good luck today, by the way. Uh, it is Sunday. <laughs> but it, it's been a neat experience. And, and again, the thing that gives me, it gives me a certain amount of validity it makes me feel good um, when somebody, again, that accomplished at the highest level of sport uh, re has that respect yeah. for not only the accomplishment, but the methodology. And yeah. that's what I think is cool. And by the way, what I've always found in life, the people who are truly great at what they do, no matter what it is, are the ones that still listen, still want to learn. They can be really confident, but don't have an ego. And that's one of the things about him as an example that I really enjoy. And that's been true of people I've met throughout my travels over these last 10 or so years. The truly great people don't have to tell you they're great and they're open to learn from other people who are good at what they do. Wow. That's <laughs> sage advice <laughs> from uh, the training <laughs> specialist of the... Now, I, uh, uh, one, I, another couple more things before, before we go. Uh, and and we're, we're going to have more of these, um, but uh, here's what's going to be different about this documentary. We're going to be releasing it one week at a time. Uh, the uh, entry level is uh, $2.95 a month to watch it uh, unfold in real time, yep. so you can follow it with me in real time. and. Uh, and, and we're also going to be paying attention through social media as well uh, for another level uh, for fourteen ninety five. Yeah, uh, you can not only get uh, the um, information that I'm revealing, but then you can also get the training. Uh, tell us what you can get for fourteen ninety five. Well, we already have the, my premium site. JeffWillettPremium.com has been up for a few months now, and on there we have the Josh Berger project unfolding, so you can you know see him get in shape. I have several different nutrition plans for different clients I've done, workout plans, other exclusive videos from the past in my career, the USA footage, and all kinds of cool stuff. Um, Which is tips. really cool, That's by the pretty way. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah. Tips, but then what's really also neat about that is the community board, and people have really been enjoying that because they can ask questions. I reply as, as soon as possible. You'll be on the community board. It's a way to interact. So that's kind of like I'll call it the all access thing. But if you just really want to watch um, this video portion for the two dollars and ninety five cent, you know that guy two membership, um, you can see the videos every week, and there's no commitment either. It's a month to month deal. So if you if you sign up and you hate it, <laughs> you cancel it. If you like it, you stay a member. Right. So. Yeah. So you know, uh, um, I, I think that the pain point for entry is going to be is so low that uh, that and it's going to help fund uh, other future projects. Yeah. So that other people, so we can keep get, getting the word out, and we want to keep the the prices. Yeah. You know, re as low as as possible because we're looking at a world audience now. So uh, back when we first started, it we was, there didn't was no know, world audience. Yeah, we just we wanted just, to come yeah. out and uh, do something, and people seemed to like it, so yeah. we're back. And, and, <laughs> and, and the interesting thing, too, is that with social media, uh, we can keep track of um, some of the trailers that we're going to be putting out yeah. to feed this and see some of the comments, because yeah. some of the comments are so mean. Yeah, and, people are... And, pretty raw like uh, one guy said that, that I'm a, a fat F <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I'm like right. oh, yeah really and I've heard it all over the years <laughs> and we'll continue to hear it but that's fine I mean yeah. people have have a right to their opinion so yeah well, that's fine. but but some of them are really they, they take it pretty uh, extreme they yeah. get ex yeah. as extreme as we're gonna get yeah. with this physical fitness yeah. so all right well uh, thanks a lot Jeff for uh, taking time out of your day I have no idea how long this went, but it's got to be close to an hour. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's never long enough. It really is. Yeah, we'll, we'll do many more and, and, and different things. We'll, we'll talk about different things as yeah. we go along. There may be some surprise guests. Yeah, you never know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See you later. Da, 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 I'm going to push. Stop. Oh, I forgot to record the whole time.